This is like a really hard question, but I love it. I can't do my words today. So, the big thing about making new friends is... Hey everybody, it's Kalea, and welcome back to my channel again! So, I'm not sure if I told you this already, but I am going to be doing high school advice. So, we're gonna get started. Katie Cornelius says, asked, how do you stay organized in high school? So for me, I have lots of notebooks. I love writing stuff down. I feel like writing stuff down is the best for me, but also putting reminders on my phone. I never actually had my phone in high school, so I never got to do that completely. But I do know that that helps for some people, so it really depends on who you are. Katie.a.thompson asked, how do you hide being on your period pads and stuff? I am actually debating doing one of these videos, like a period 101 video, so if you want me to do that, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below, yes, 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 okay? So I know, but for me, there are many different tricks. I feel like um, if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt and you have either a pad or a tampon, you can slip it through your, your sleeve. That really helps. If you have an empty water bottle and you don't want to say you have to go to the bathroom, you can put that in your water bottle and say, can I go fill my water bottle up? But if that doesn't work, then say, hey, I have an emergency. They always will let you go to the bathroom. They should always let you. Christina, yeah, Christina.cohan asked, what is some advice for entering high school or a high school? So I was actually super scared because it's a much bigger school. It's more intimidating because you've got like 12th graders who are, how old are 12th graders again? 18, 19, 17, around there. So there can be pretty intimidating. It's lots of different ages, it's bigger, it's quicker in the hallways. So I was super nervous, but having friends is a big thing. Cause you can walk to classes together, you can go to lunch with them and you have some social, you have like friends and you don't, you don't feel really belittled or pressured. I can't do my words today. Also, I feel like they, for my school at least, they had this thing called ninth grader day. So we went to school a day before. I use my hands a lot. We went to school a day early. Now I want to use my hands. And we got a feel of what our schedules be, would be like. So I had A day and B day. Some people call it odd day, even day. Actually, I think ours were called odd and even day. But anyways, so we they split like four classes one day, five classes the other, or five and four classes. Who knows? Or five and five, or four and four. Ooh, that would suck if you had five and five. Ooh. They told us all the rules, so they took us to certain rooms, and in one room would be rules and regulations. Another room would be like what it's like and tradition. And yeah, it, that was super helpful. Even though I hated going to school a day early, it was really helpful. If you don't wanna do that, go to school with your mom a few days early when you have your schedule and your locker and run through your classes and time it because they normally give you five to eight minutes to walk through to your next class. So time it and get a feel of where your classes are and you'll be good to go. Okay, this is a good question. Underscore Haley underscore 363 asked, tips to stay away from drama in high school or in school in general. This is actually a really hard question. I feel like I can't answer that right now because I haven't been to school in a while and I don't really remember any drama that I have, but some tips from me would be... Okay, I thought long and hard for that. Probably it was only like three seconds, but it depends on your friends. Friends make a huge difference. They can have a good influence or a bad influence. That's where peer pressure comes from so i feel like if your friends are having drama it really depends on the drama but if your friends are having drama i feel like saying like hey guys we shouldn't be talking about this or guys that's not really nice to talk about stand up for yourself because then that makes you look stronger then you're showing an example and other people that maybe are silently like oh we really shouldn't be talking about that they'll come together with you then everyone can stand up for each other and there you go. Next question. Regs4131, sorry if I said that wrong, asked, what are, what are some must-have things to keep in my locker? Funny thing is, 
when I first went to high school, I put lots of pencils in my locker and all these things in my locker. Not once did I touch it. Actually, I touched it once, actually. Um, I was in a class and pencils, I don't understand what happens to them, but if I had like 500 pencils um, at the beginning of the school year, I'd probably end up with 10, M maybe 10, like that's the most. Pads and tampons, that's a big thing to have in your locker. Pads, tampons, Claret Claritin could work, I mean, if you have allergies, but Advil and Tylenol, those are some big must-haves because if you don't want to keep some in your backpack, which I definitely suggest you do, keep like a small pack in your backpack, that is definitely something you should have. But in your locker, that's also a good thing to have because if you run out or you forget. For me, I didn't know exactly when my periods would start because my app, which also get the app guys, because that's very, very helpful. It tells you when your period should be starting. But for me, I wasn't sure when my period would start. So sometimes if it would start right in between the week, then I would maybe wasn't prepared in my backpack, but in your locker, you might have some. So that is a big thing that you should have. Okay, Kirsten Madison asked, any advice on making new friends? I don't know what it is, but I'm really good at making new friends, but I can also be super shy. I feel like just get yourself out there, be nice to everyone, smile in the hallways, maybe compliment people. Like if someone was wearing a cute shirt, be like, hey, your shirt's super cute. Or start up conversations, that's also really big. I actually, this year, if any of you have seen the awkward parody, I actually made those friends that year in high school. So I was in English or in seminary and there was a girl and she started talking to me and so we started talking and we became friends we would walk together to our next classes or we would say hi in the halls and this was Maggie and then she brought along her other friend who is the sweetest person ever it's Emma and they're my favorite then we would start talking and I went to some of their classes in between lunch <laughs> yeah that was fun um and we just got together more we got each other's numbers and we would text a lot and yeah so the big thing about making new friends is get yourself out there I guess you could say so say hi or start up conversations in classes that is a big thing that's what got my entire friend group from the awkward parody that's how we all came together is from one person saying hi to me so yeah you never know this is like a really hard question but I love it it's from Nicole Adevos, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. She said, how do you know what to do when you have two best friends and they are fighting and you get in the middle of it, but you don't want to choose a side and hurt the other person's videos? P.S. Love your Teen Topics videos. Thank you. I'm so glad you love them. Okay. I've never actually had this happen. I had one friend one time. It seemed like she was ignoring me. She wouldn't talk to me that much. And so it was really hard. But to me, I feel like it really depends. If they ask for your opinion... I'd say, hey guys, I really hate that we're fighting. It makes me super like sad because we are all, you guys are both super awesome, but I can't choose a side because I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. It's pretty much exactly what you said. You pretty much say, just say what's on your mind because it really depends on the situation, but say what you think would be good and yeah. Okay, starry underscore smith13 asked advice on boys and making a good friendship with them. That's a hard one. So for me, the guy friends that I have, which are in the awkward parody, um, for me, because we all love theater. So if you love a sport like, say, soccer, and they love a sport like soccer, then you can start talking to them about that. But also for me, my friends were friends with these guys, and then I started becoming friends because we would all hang out together. And so if you have a friend that has a guy friend that you maybe think super awesome, just talk that's like a big thing is if you just start up a conversation or just start talking that's really big catalina agulark ask what is some advice for a lot of homework i hate homework except i haven't had any for homeschool go to homeschool guys just kidding if that's not a thing for you for me organizing in folders and getting it done in class if you have time in class while they're talking, maybe write, but also you need to listen because they might be saying something important about that. But definitely try and get it done as much as possible in 
um, class. But that's also what A day and B day is for. So we, if you're in high school, you have four classes one day, four classes the other, something like that. And so these four, it actually is kind of complicated but to say, but I smell good. Why do I keep getting distracted? Oh my goodness. Okay, if you have four classes this day and then four classes the next day, this day you can start working on this homework. And then the next day you can start working on that homework as well. Or, yeah, you can kind of work on the homework, but you would probably want to work on the homework from this day. So, like, if it's B day, you work on the homework for A day. On B day, for B day's homework, you work on that B day's homework on A day. and a day, So, it's kind of switched. So, you have a day. But then, again, just get it done in class. That's the biggest thing. This is a good question. Okay, Grace underscore Elizabeth 777 asked, she said, on the Teen Topics video, please talk about how to build a strong relationship between you and your teachers. That is a big thing in high school because you won't feel as scared to talk to them about questions. Also, they are there for you to ask questions. Asking questions is a big key to being smarter, to getting your homework done. It's one of the main things at the top of the, the chain. So building strong relationships with them is getting it done early. Asking lots of questions is really helpful, but getting your homework done and turning it in on time is a big one. And there you go. For me, I would always buy one of my teachers Quench It, which is like So Delicious or Fizz or Swig. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love making these videos. So if you would like to see more of these videos, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. It may not seem like I answer comments, which I actually don't, which I should get on top of, but I do look at every single one of your comments. Like when I ask you, uh, you guys to DM me ideas, I really actually do look through them, even though it doesn't seem like it. I totally look through them and I love all your guys' ideas. You guys are so creative and I couldn't be doing this channel without y'all. So thank you so much and make sure to subscribe down below to join my clay Bay squad because you guys are all so amazing and I want to grow this amazing family this amazing squad and do more fun stuff for you guys so yeah and make sure to turn on your notifications because i've got some pretty good pretty fun videos coming ahead okay till next time i love y'all